the most exciting game in the FCS. Sacramento State finds a win against Weber State, 33-30. to Sacramento State, 9-0. and I know I sent to you in the comments, I hope that we see, whether it's in the championship game or in the bracket somewhere, a playoff game between Sacramento State and Holy Cross, two undefeated teams left uh, in, in the FCS. I cannot wait to watch that football game if it happens. I think we might see it eventually at some point. But looking at this game, it looked like it came down to the running game on Sacramento State. They found a way to get over 200 yards. It was pretty consistently on the rest of it. Sacramento State total the yards 431 to only Weber State's 319. This game came down to the wire, and only a field goal wins it for Sacramento State. Something we said initially at the beginning in our preview. We said this could be a game that's only won by a field goal, and look what happened, Steve. Yeah, you know, Sacramento State has been – underappreciated all year there are so many great teams you know out west in the fcs and certainly in the big sky i I mean it's easy to kind of like fly under the radar now now that they've really vanquished weber state and not have to worry about safeties they actually want it on the field not waiting for goofy safeties there you go (laughs) yeah i'm sorry I'm sorry, Weber State fans. I mean, that's a, that was a wild. I mean, it deserves to be talked about. It was a wild, crazy thing that we like, probably will never right, see okay. again. <laughs> okay. And I could even live with if it happened twice. Yeah. But to happen four times in four. the first half, that's just – I don't think we'll ever, ever see that again. No way. Yeah. I, I, I'm really curious to see how the projected playoff bracket and seedings comes out. Uh, this week because now we're starting to see okay you know you may have holy cross and sacramento state face off in a semifinal let's say and not in the championship game just depending on how things fall out but i think there's enough teams that are starting to come back to the pack more that if holy cross can win out and sacramento state should win out Um, I I think then you're kind of protecting those undefeated teams where they could potentially have a roadways. It'll be interesting to see if South Dakota state can hang on. I think defensively, they're a better football team than Sacramento state. Mm -hmm. So, so you know, when you're talking about a playoff and the, and the FCS has multiple teams in this bracket, it's not like the four team uh, sham of a playoff in the FBS. It's a pretty expanded uh, field. Uh, I, if they have a stumble, then maybe Sacramento State actually steps into that top spot. It, I, and it and it is a shame that not all of the teams are, are going to are going to play in the FCS playoff. But be thankful if you get a chance and you're up late, you can't sleep or whatever it is. You know, you're just getting home late from an evening out with friends. Sit down, even if you're only watching a half of it. Catch a Sacramento State game. You know, because they generally play usually nine or 10 o'clock kickoff. So if you're home by 11, you have a chance to actually uh, catch a good part of the game. It's uh, it, They're a fun team to watch. Another team that does everything well, they seem to find that part of their opponent's game and then they exploit it you know, to their advantage. So hats off to Sacramento State. I can't wait for the FCS playoffs. I, I just cannot wait. And I think we have to do – some kind of a, a bit about the FCS playoff projected rankings, as well as talk about the uh, the championship playoff rankings, because these are games that are going to fill our football watching time in December yeah. while we're waiting for these bigger uh, bowl games and the playoff games. I think we need to dedicate an entire show to the FCS playoffs when it does come in. Speaking of Sacramento State, you're right. They usually play at 9 o'clock. That's what they're going to play this coming Saturday against Portland State, who are 4-5. and five. Then they finish the season against 5-4 and four, UC Davis. There is nothing in my mind that says this team is not going to finish 11-0, and 0, Steve. No. no, no. I mean, UC Davis could be a trap game, potentially. They've had some pretty... Uh, high points, but they've been ver- they've been wildly inconsistent. Uh, they're just they're just undermanned compared to teams like Sacramento State or even like Montana State or South Dakota State. You know they're they're, they're undermanned. So um, I, yeah, I think Sacramento State skates through it, and they're at least a two seed. But don't be surprised if they're the number one seed going into the FCF playoffs. 